all the sacrifices and circumcision by the Jewish people in the Old Testament were for that for that time sufficient and efficacious or efficient, efficient through the operation of the Holy Spirit to instruct and build up the elect in faith in the promised Messiah by whom they had four remissions of sin in eternal salvation is called the New Testament. In other words, the people in the Old Testament obtained their eternal salvation, which is the remission of sins and eternal salvation, really by putting their faith in the promised Messiah, whom they have not met or seen or heard even at that time. And that's the work of the Holy Spirit pointing them towards and for all four signifying Christ to come. <clears throat> this is a this is a very very important um, doctrinal statement. Okay, so let me read that from Westminster's um so so all this okay the the old covenant under the law was administered by promises, prophecies sacrifices, circumcision, the Paschal Lamb, and the other types and other types and ordinances delivered to the people of the Jews, all four signifying Christ to come. For example, Hebrews 18. Um, okay, this is a good one. Now the point in which we're saying is we have a high priest. The high priest high priest is offering um the Whatever the high priest offering the Old Testament is only a copy of and shadow of the heavenly copy that's to, to come. So that is really important. Like Romans 4.11. Um, we won't do that. Colossians 2. 1 Corinthians 5.7. Okay, so all this at that time working by the Holy Spirit is good. But all point to the, the ultimate. This is a good. 1 Corinthians 10, 1, 4. But I do not want you to be unaware, brothers. That our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them. And guess who that rock is? And the rock, capital R, was Christ. That is in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Go figure. So Paul is writing, all the Jewish people in the Old Testament drank from the same spiritual food, drink from the same spiritual drink, they drank from that spiritual rock that followed them. Jesus was following the Israelites in the Old Testament, that rock was Christ. So you can see that obviously, the, they're still waiting for the promised Messiah, but the promised Messiah was following them with them. Okay, by whom they had full remissions of sin and eternal salvation, and it's called the Old Testament. By the way, the Old Testament, a better word perhaps, is the Old Covenant. The Bible should have been divided Old Covenant and the New Covenant in that sense. So, this is so clear now. For example, Galatians 3 7 9. Know that it is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham. God preached the gospel to Abraham in the Old Testament. You know, the word gospel actually is found in the Old Testament. So Paul wrote in Galatians chapter 3 saying that, you know, God preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, In you shall all the nations be blessed. That is the gospel. In you. But who is you? So that those who are of faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith, the seed of Abraham, not seeds, singular, seed. The seed of Abraham is Jesus Christ. So in Jesus Christ, all nations are blessed. That was already preached to God preached that to Abraham. So, so in the Old Testament, the gospel was already there. All that happens for signifying the promised Messiah. The key word, remember, the promised Messiah in the Old Testament.